Lesson four. Now, we continue. I'll show you how it looks like. So I'm going to go this way, like that. That's the whole movement. Okay. So from here, that's the whole movement. So what did I do? Let's start with the feet. So I'm going to step to the side, to this point, and then I'm going to pivot and bring my foot to the inside of the leg point. Okay. So I'm here. I step and then I pivot. Now I'm facing the dummy. If you don't have a dummy, then just put it right next to the, to this point here. Okay, the arms and the legs. So we are here. So let's break it down. Just the left hand. So the left hand goes from here to here on so. We'll bounce out here. Hands on top here. One more time. Low ball so here, pivot, tonsil on top. The right hand, so just the right hand. Here, palm in the middle, in between these two. This is the ribs, so this goes on the ribs. So right here, right hand, I step, stays here. Don't have to retract it. So I just relax the hand and then my palm. From here. I relax the hand, my palm. Okay, and combine together. So you end up here. Step, pivot, tanso, palm. Okay, repeat. Step, pivot, tanso, palm. Remember, last time. Step, pivot, tanso, palm. Lesson four. So we ended up here. So now I'll show you the whole sequence of so this part. Step to far corner, pivot, tan sao, and low palm. Okay, that's the whole sequence. So what do I do? So I'm facing 45 degrees this way. Tan sao, low palm sao. Let's look at the feet first. I step to the far corner. I pivot 45 degrees. Now most of my weight is my right leg. 70% weight on the right leg, right leg, 30% on the left leg. Now I'm 45 degrees facing the middle, or facing the imaginary dummy. Make sure my feet is on the right side of the center. Okay, so one more time. Step to the far corner, pivot, like that. Step to the far corner, pivot. Now notice that when I bring in my left foot, I don't bring it straight to here because imagine there's a foot here. If I go like this, my foot would get caught because there's a, there's a leg here. So when I bring my foot here, I actually go around it and then up here like that. I go around it like this. So when I step and I pivot, I go around it like this and end up on this side of the dummy leg. Now you add the, the hands. Let's start with the left hand again. So the left hand, low bong so, ends up as a tan so. Low bong so, ends up as a tan so. Low bong so, ends up as a tan so. And the right hand will be, it was here. And then I just go relax. And then low palm. Tan so, relax, low palm. Tan so, relax, low palm. Okay, you combine together. Step to the far corner, pivot, tan so, low palm. Step to the far corner, pivot, tan so, low palm. Step from to the far corner, pivot, bring your left foot around the leg, tan so, low palm. So ideally, you do the tan so as you pivot your body and as you move your leg. Okay, so and then low palm. Lesson number four. So remember lesson three, and then this position. If this works out well, then you would have pinned his arm here with your low bong so, and you have blocked his attack here. So you have a couple of options here. You can just go straight in like that as an attack, right? You can punch him in the, in the chest, 
right? You can even elbow him because you're on the inside right now. The most likely way he's going to attack you right now is trying to hit you with this arm. So let's say he's trying to hit me with that. I guess hook, hook in, right? So now if I have a bong cell here, I mean a tan cell here, it's going to block it. But let's say he puts a lot of force into it and kind of pushes through. So, and I'm losing it. So what I want to do is actually let it go, pivot, and then grab and then low palm. That's what it's for, okay? So just slowly. This works well. Like if you got him like here and, and then your position is good, then you can punch him with this hand. But let's say he puts a lot of force in here. Remember, you don't want to fight force with force. You want to just go with the flow, right? So he's pushing in with this one. Like if I, if I collapse this, he's going to hit me in the face like this, right? So if he collapse, do it again. If he pushes in, collapses, then he's going to hit me in the face. But instead of doing that, he pushes it in. I kind of let it go over, whereas this hand becomes, this is actually technically a bomb cell, but I'm going to grab him instead. And then I can step a little bit over this way, and then I can palm him on the ribs. Okay? I feel him doing like an overhand, so I go underneath. I can, this could be a ton cell, but I feel safer grabbing. Okay? So it's going to be a ton cell like this. Right? So just to show you how it works in the form, I end up like this. So it's ton cell and then low palm. And all I added is now I kind of add a rollover so that his arm will go over my head. And then, then I switch the tan cell. Okay, so switch the tan cell like that. Okay, so I'll show you just that part. So he's pushing this way. I switch the tan cell. Okay. Now in the, in the form, they don't, they don't actually roll over because but if, it, if he's actually pushing in, if I don't roll over in the, the tan cell, then he's going to hit me. If I just drop the hand, he's going to straight in my face. When I drop the hand, that goes straight in my face. So don't drop the hand, roll it over, and pass it from one hand to the next hand as a tan cell or as a grab, and then here's your palm. Okay? So a good drill you can do with this is you can do both ways, right? It's good to practice square um, just for the sake of the drill. People are not going to fight you square on like this in real life most of the time. But just for the sake of the drill, uh, one way to train this is train your tan cell. You're pushing in this way. I'm going to pass it and palm. And then he's going to hit me with this one. I train the tan cell, pass it, and palm. And then hit me with this one, and tan cell, pass it, and palm. OK, so you get lots of repetition. OK, so you can train with a partner. And without a partner, you go tan cell, pass it, palm. OK, tan cell again. So you do the passing as you step. So tan cell, pass, and step, pivot, and palm. Tan cell, pass, step, pivot, and palm. OK, so you can be imagining the hook is coming like this. You blocked it. You pass and step and pivot, you palm. Imagine there's a hook coming in this way. So you blocked it. And then you pass it, step, and palm. So that way you can get used to the movement, both sides, left and right, and you can get lots of repetition and get good at this technique.